We're talking with Robert Sweet from Striper. He's going to be telling us a little bit about their new album, In God We Trust. What came about? What were you thinking about when you decided to call the record In God We Trust? Well, it was another one of those type of things where we were on the tour of us late one night, and uh, the idea just popped into my head of, you know, what's on money, the phrase that is on, on money everyone sees every day. And I said to the guys in the band, hey, look, what do you think of the idea of of calling the album In God We Trust and putting like a $100 bill? And, and everyone kind of went, well, that's kind of a cool idea, but let's just wait and see. And the more I, th I thought about the idea, the more I realized how it would be money saying the title, really. Striper's not really saying In God We Trust. And when you see the album cover, you'll realize that it's it's actually money that makes that statement. And I think it's really cool because what it does is it reminds people of what they see every day. The United States, the nation, was built on that idea of, of trusting in God, and it's on our money. And uh, we just thought it would be a real cool way to remind people of what's there. It seems to be kind of, you know, take it for granted or... A lot of people forget what that statement stands for. So it's a, it's a rock and roll reminder of what the truth really is. A lot of people would say, uh, have said, that money is the root of all evil. How do you feel about that? It's very easily answered. You see, it's, it's a common thing to forget two key words that are in that statement you just used. A lot of people say that money is the root of all evil, but that, that's not really what it is. The love of money is the root of all evil. And if you kill for it or steal for it or lie for it or sell your body for it or whatever you do, if you're in the wrong frame of heart for money, if you're greedy, if you're self-centered, if all you care about is yourself and you don't, if you have a lot of money and you're stingy, you don't help other people out, then, then it's wrong. But to have actual pieces of paper that are white pieces of paper with green ink on them, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, it's your attitude of heart. About recording the record, so far uh, it's been a busy time for you. How has this recording experience been different than, say, To Hell with the Devil? It's been very busy and it's taken a little bit longer, but you know what, I think this album has been a lot, for me, it's been a fun time especially with working with some of the people we've been working with and working with with Michael Lloyd and some of the people at the studio. It's been fun. It's a lot of work. It's you know, what, four and a half months, probably five months to do the record. In comparison with some other bands, it's a short time, but for us, it's kind of long. Um, but it's pretty much, you know, the same type of thing it, it is, is doing any of the Striper albums, just getting in there and going for it. Like I said, this one's taken a little bit longer, but I think it's it's been a lot of fun especially in comparison with the Hell with the Devil. You said the other day that you were sort of itching to get back out on the road. Uh, how, how do you integrate your personal life with being away from, from your home base for so long? It's very easy. I just get on the tour bus. <laughs> um, with me, um, it's just a real simple thing. I, I know that's it's what you have to do. You have to get out there and play. Uh, people want to see you. And it's what I do best. Um, I love being in the recording studio. I think it's great. But after seeing four walls for a couple months, I kind of miss being out there playing on stage. So it's really what I live for. So it's real easy just, just to go and do it. I'm, I'm looking forward to being out there and playing. I mean, it's hard. It's not as easy as a lot of people think. But for me, it's, it's a real simple thing. I'm a single guy who doesn't have a lot of responsibilities at this point in my life and and I love playing drums on stage you know so it's very simple I just um, just get out there and do it a lot of drummers are, are really both uh, visually and actually way in the background in terms of uh, where they are in the band, the guitarist or the vocalist has all the focus but you've always had uh, a different approach I try to have a different approach. A, a lot of drummers really aren't noticed, and and that's not really the whole point of 
uh, why I play drums is to get noticed, but it's just to have fun. A lot of drummers are just looked at as the guy who just hides behind the kid, and his job is just to keep the backbone of the band and going, you know, keep keep that beat going. And he's usually not too smart of a guy, but he can hit things hard, and maybe he's tough enough to break a cymbal or something, you know. And with me, I just always went, I don't understand why drummers are hid, whether drum sets cover them up. Now, not all drummers are hid, and there are a lot of visual guys out there, but for me, I just like taking the attitude of it's a very visual thing, it's entertainment, it's a good time, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually, if you want to know the truth, not a really good drummer. I do, everything I do is pretty simple. I mean, I'm not a bad drummer. I, 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 do, I do good in Striper. But everything I do is really simple, but I just like to have a lot of fun with it. Um, and that's why, say for example, I really like Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee and I, we were different as far as what we stand for and the lifestyle we live. But he's a real a visual type of drummer with the, you know, the drum stage that goes upside down. I wish I would have thought of the idea myself. Um, but he's a real visual type of drummer, and I, I really liked it to see that. So that's that's what I try to be. I um, I look at my job as being in, in Striper. I'm here to speak and visual time keep. So I try my best. How do you feel overall about the way the albums come out? I've only heard a few of the rough mixes so far, but it sounds like uh, everything's right there. It's really happening. Well, good. I'm <laughs> that makes me feel good. I think this album's turning out outrageous. I think as as far as is oh vocal harmonies and and great production. I think this album, and I know every band in the world says this about their latest album at the time, but I think this is the best Striper album by far. I feel great about it. Thank you, Robert, for taking time out with us.